nodal gearbox so see this one is a ford t model gearbox how it is going to work first of all if you are uh, seeing this sketch no you will not be able to understand well for that you have to go to yeah exploded view okay so for exam you have to draw this uh, sketch so this gearbox is known as ford t model gearbox okay uh, it is a epicyclic uh, gearbox and uh, without automatic transmission that is without using a fluid i will be able to achieve that uh, gear that is similar to automatic the operation will be like that okay that is we will be having a three pedal let me explain first you no need to refer this uh, sketch and all there will be a uh, three pedals okay that is a clutch brake accelerator okay so they will be having a uh, three uh, pedals in that uh, there will be no separate pedal like accelerator that accelerator if you are pressing down it will be a uh, top gear okay so when you are pressing a, a pedal that is a, a lower gear for lower gear you will be having one pedal okay when you are uh, pressing it first time that is it will be going to the midway what will happen my lower gear will be coming into picture okay when you are pressing the pedal fully that is you are going fully what will happen you will be getting a direct drive okay that is a direct drive will be obtained we will be making the things clear when you are uh, going for a, a sketch okay and uh, for reverse you will be having another pedal okay if you are applying that uh, pedal what will happen your reverse gear will be achieved okay so you can see with the three pedals i will be able to achieve lower gear and uh, in that pedal itself i will be able to achieve a higher gear that is a direct gear and uh, for a uh, reverse there is a separate pedal we are not interrupting that and for a uh, brake there will be a separate pedal whenever uh, the engine is operating we will be applying the brake okay sir ungala kooprar so let me uh, show the exploded view so with this sketch i am going to explain the everything okay uh, your my voice is audible everything you please check and tell what yes, about sir, uh, voice is audible sir voice is audible you listen carefully this is very very important okay uh, i will be making the things so easier i will try to make the things easier okay see now this one is uh, flywheel okay see my cursor movement this one is uh, flywheel okay we are having a, a flywheel and we are having a transmission shaft that is uh, connected to the flywheel okay and you are having a three planet gears and this three planet gears will be having a triple gears what do you mean by triple no you can see the gear teeth three rows will be there okay you can see for obtaining a different gear ratio we are having what three gears are there okay so three planet and in the each planet we are having a three gears okay for achieving a different gear ratio and here you see pin okay we are able to see the pin you can uh, see the second one okay i will use the name one stands for flywheel two stands for pin okay it is a pin in that pin i am going to fix this three planet gears and i will be using the word uh, planet gears as a triple gears okay because we are having a uh, three rows of teeth in my planet gears okay and we are having what a driven gear and the fifth one is known as a uh, driven gear and third one is transmission shaft what will happen my driven gear will be free to rotate on my transmission shaft okay that is a uh, uh, it means that i will not be taking the power from transmission shaft to driven gear see whenever when the power is delivered to my road wheels my driven gear will be rotating okay but my driven gear is not connected to the transmission shaft it is free to rotate my driven gear 
will be connected to a shaft you can here you can see a brake drum is there no we are having a shaft okay there are uh, keyway is there no in that keyway my driven gear will be connected okay so whenever my driven gear is getting uh, rotated the shaft will be rotated and brake uh, this assembly brake drum also will be rotated so when i am applying the brake this will be rest even though engine power is coming my vehicle will be at rest okay so please understand my driven gear is not attached to transmission shaft it is kept it is free to rotate in the transmission shaft okay now we are having what a reverse drum okay now we are having a reverse drum uh, in a reverse drum you, you are having what a gear this gear is known as used for a reverse gear this gear will be engaging with one of the gear in this arrangement here we are having three gears no i will be explaining you which gear which will it will be engaging one or second or third one okay here you are having one second and third one in one of the gear my reverse gear will be going and attached you may get a question why we are having a drum when i want to fix my reverse gear that is you have seen uh, this epicyclic gear box no when i am fixing this uh, band what will happen this will be rest okay wait for a minute okay uh, you are audible now see check whether i am audible yes sir okay see here we are having a ring gear no see here you are you are having a ring gear in order to arrest this ring gear i am having a brake band when i am fixing this brake band ring gear will be rest so similarly in this arrangement i should i should uh, make my reverse gear to be engaged that is i should not allow my reverse gear to rotate so how i will be doing it i will be fixing the reverse drum by a external uh, source okay so what will happen my reverse gear will not rotate so what we can say my reverse drum that is sixth one will be rotating along with my reverse uh, gear so whenever my reverse gear is rotating my reverse drum also will be rotating okay and see and again we are having what low speed low speed is the first gear for that also we are having a drum and we are having what a arrangement okay this one will be the gear you may ask why the shaft is uh, length is more a uh, reverse drum it has to protrude my low speed gear it has to go through the opening in the reverse drum and it will should be uh, meshing with the gear okay and you can see the brake drum also it should be connected to the driven gear so that uh, length of the shaft is uh, more okay so always power will be coming from driven gear okay so we will be understanding the working uh, later now you please understand it is a low speed drum which is connected to a low speed gear so in order to make this gear rest i will arrest this drum so what will happen my gear will be at rest okay so now you will you might have understood the construction flywheel and we are having what three piston uh, pins in that uh, pinion gear sir attached wait for a minute hello the uh, this here venu sir nane call pandra na okay
Okay, audible now? Yes, sir. Uh, today, lot of disturbances are coming. What to do? You have to manage. Okay. If it is a class, okay, means uh, no one will uh, disturb. Since it is an online class, we have to answer uh, other uh, queries also. And uh, here you okay. can see flywheel, and we are having a three uh, piston uh, pins. In that, uh, the three uh, planet gears will be uh, attached. The three planet uh, gears are called as triple gears. Three gears are there, and this one is a transmission shaft, and this one is a driven gear. And you have to remember, driven gear is connected to this shaft. Whenever driven gear is rotating, the shaft will be rotating and power will be transmitted to the road wheels. Okay. Now I will be showing you which gear will be connected to this three parts. That is, a uh, low speed gear will be connected to which gear here, and reverse gear will be connected to which gear. See this uh, sketch. Okay. Here I am having a flywheel, triple gears. Okay. One, two, three. The first one, no. The triple gear will be meshing with the driven gear. Okay, so always what will happen? Power will be taken from driven gear, whether it is in reverse or uh, low. Power will be taken from driven gear. Okay, so for uh, getting power from the driven gear, the driven gear will be drive driven by the triple gear, which is at last. That is from this direction. It is at last from flywheel. That that one will be the first. So you have to remember. The first gear, okay, and this one will be meshing with driven gear. Okay, the first one, the triple gear, will be meshing with driven gear. Okay, and see the second one. The second one will be meshing with low speed gear. Okay, go here. The second one should be meshing with low speed gear. Why no? Uh, you may ask why the shaft length is more. My low speed drum and gear should go inside. And this gear should uh, engage with the center one, so that I need a more length. Okay, so you can see this gear that is a low speed gear should mesh with the second uh, gear here. Okay, what about third one? Third one should uh, mesh with the uh, reverse gear. Okay, so you can see the third one that is a triple gear. The third one that will be meshing with the uh, reverse drum here. So this is a uh, very very important. First one, always it will be meshing with uh, driven gear, and second one, it will be uh, meshing with uh, low speed gear, and third one will be meshing with reverse drum gear. Okay. And you are having a unit uh, called clutch assembly. Why we need this clutch assembly? No, that is for uh, say uh, direct drive. Direct drive means my transmission shaft should be directly connected with this uh, drum. Okay, so at that time power will not be transmitted to this uh, planet uh, gear sandal. Directly power from the transmission shaft will be transferred to the brake drum. Okay, uh, that is uh, in this assembly, not the brake drum. In this shaft, I have to make a coupling. That is uh, directly I have to transmit the power. For that, I am having a This assembly. Okay, so let me explain. You see this clutch disc or drum. Okay, clutch disc or drum. It will be attached to the transmission shaft. Okay, at the end of this transmission shaft, I will be having what? Clutch disc or drum. Okay, so it will be uh, rotating with the uh, transmission shaft. So whenever uh, my engine is uh, rotating, my clutch disc or drum. Will be rotating, okay. And again, we are having what? Clutch disc. Clutch disc. We are having a, a larger disc and smaller disc. Uh, seriously, that is you have seen a clutch, no? Let me uh, show the sketch. Here uh, you can see uh, 
uh, this one will be the multiplet clutch we have seen see one clutch uh, 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 disc will be in upper side another clutch disc will be inner side okay and we are, will be having a friction lining uh, between uh, both okay when sufficient pressure is uh, happened when i am going to provide a uh, sufficient pressure by friction power will be getting from a uh, driving blade to driven blade okay so we have seen this in multiplet clutch so similar to that in this uh, clutch disc we will be having the two clutch disc one is larger one and another one will be the smaller one okay the smaller uh, plate will be attached நீங்க எதுக்கு சார் ஹெச்ஓடி வெளிய போயிருக்காரு so you can see uh, the you can see the smaller uh, disc no so you can see the smaller disc will be attached to the clutch disc drum okay one minute okay uh, whether i am audible now manigan dam yes sir okay see here i am having a clutch disc okay so here i am having a larger disc as well as a smaller disc i told no larger disc will be attached to the outer member smaller disc will be attached to the inner member and between two i will be having friction linings okay so what happened Uh, my clutch disc and drum will be rotating whenever my engine is uh, rotating that is uh, you can see in this uh, sketch at the end of the transmission shaft my uh, clutch disc this one will be connected so it always it will be rotated but power will not be transmitted to the output okay now you can see in a brake drum this part the outer disc no we are having the the recess okay this one will be connected to this brake drum there is a brake drum inner side will be having this portion okay brake drum inner side will be having this portion okay so what happens when the power is going to transmitted to the road wheel uh, this one that is a clutch disc drum will be rotating but it will not transmit the power to ear it will be getting the power from the driven gear this uh, driven gear will be connected to the shaft no the shaft will be driving this brake drum and uh, the brake drum is uh, connected to this uh, larger disc and the larger disc will be rotated and uh, it will be uh, delivering power to the driven plate and the power will be going to the road wheels under direct drive what will happen no power will not be taken from the driven gear power will be taken from the clutch disc drum what will happen i will be engaging the clutch that is uh, uh, i will be engaging the clutch what will happen this uh, spring will be providing a force and there is another similar to a friction plate we are having what clutch push ring no so what it will be pushing these two plates that is a plate which is attached to the outer and plates which is attached to the inner that is a clutch this come two plates will be bonded together due to friction my disc drum and my driven plate will be rotated so in this condition i will not be getting power from driven gear i will be getting power from clutch disc drum that is clutch disc drum is connected to the transmission shaft 
so directly i am coupling my input is directly coupled to the output so for that only we are having what this clutch assembly okay so with the help of spring and with the help of uh, clutch uh, push ring what i will uh, doing i will be engaging this so that uh, this uh, plates will be engaged okay previously this plates will not be having contact i will not be getting power from this clutch this drum when i am engaging the clutch what will happen it will be forming a contact and it will be getting the power from clutch disc drum and power will be going to the road wheels okay so direct drive is obtained so this is the working of my ford model gearbox okay so here the main thing is let me explain engine is running my road wheel is not rotating i have started my vehicle that is engine is running so what will happen my flywheel will be rotating my uh, transmission shaft will be uh, rotating but my driven gear will not be rotating uh, listen carefully my driven gear will not be rotating whereas this one no reverse gear and uh, low speed this and all uh, will be rotating when i am fixing this reverse gear that is a uh, i am not allow this reverse gear to rotate okay it will be fixed by the help of drum my reverse gear will be engaging with the first gear so we will be getting a reverse drive and similarly for low speed i will be fixing this drum my low speed gear will be engaging with which one the center portion in that i will be getting what first speed the driven gear will be getting power from the first portion of this planet carrier okay there is a planet gear okay three parts are there with this part first one will be engaging with driven gear for reverse as well as low speed power will be coming from first part to the driven gear whereas for uh, 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 reverse this second uh, last part will be engaged with this one and for low the second part will be engaged with uh, this one but uh, power will be coming to my main shaft through driven gear and through the first portion of this gears okay but, but for direct drive what will happen this type of arrangement will not be there at the end of this transmission shaft what i am having a clutch assembly okay so i will be engaging it directly so directly i will be getting power and uh, direct drive will be obtained so you have to understand when there is a low speed and when there is a reverse speed i should not allow this clutch to be engaged so the clutch will not be engaged when my uh, my when i am operating on low speed as well as reverse speed okay so by uh, understanding this sketch by seeing this three sketches only you will be able to understand this uh, fourth model t gearbox i will be explaining this sketch now you will be able to understand well okay so which one is uh, driven gear see this b1 no after seeing this only you can understand this sketch my b1 is what a uh, driven gear that is corresponds to this one okay and uh, you are having three i told three gears no that is uh, in opinion i am having three gears no that three will be what h g k see the size variation h g k my h will be engaging with b okay so always the drive uh, driven gear will be getting power from h okay my h will be uh, dri driving the driven gear p whereas uh, c k is the first one it will be engaging with reverse you can see reverse no this one is band okay this one is band reverse gear is j reverse gear is j and this will be engaging with the first teeth of the pinion that is k okay so my reverse let me show in this reverse gear will be engaging with the first this portion from this side first from this side this one is last okay then low gear see low gear this is for band okay low gear you can see it is coming like this it is uh, going it will be engaging with which gear k uh, sorry g the second one so h is for driven gear b and k is for uh, reverse gear and uh, g is for low gear okay and this one is clutch this one is for clutch when i am engaging the clutch what will happen power will not be going to the gear and all but directly from my transmission shaft it will be directly coupled 
and the power will be coming to the transmission output shaft here so when, when so during low and reverse the clutch will be disengaged and uh, for direct drive clutch will be engaged directly power will be coming to the this shaft okay i will not be using this pinion and all so the pinion will be used for low gear and reverse gear and you see you are having brake band here no when i am applying this brake band what will happen my reverse gear will not rotate so i will be getting reverse gear and when i applying low gear band what will happen my uh, this gear that is a gear f will not rotate i will be getting what first gear i explained about epicyclic gear train now by fixing a uh, different gears i will be getting different ratio when i applying this band i will be getting reverse gear there is a direction will be changed when i am applying this uh, low gear this band what will happen gear e will not be rotating and i will be getting a uh, low gear okay uh, if i want to stop the vehicle when the engine is uh, running and power also delivered to the road wheels if i am applying the brake what will happen it will be holding this so power will not be going to the transmission output shaft so similarly applying the brake in the brake drum so always power will be coming from driven gear and driven gear to this shaft there is a keyway you can see it is coupled and i when i going to fix the brake drum that is arrest the brake drum my rotation will be stopped okay so it is more uh, complicated but once you have understood no need to remember or no need to mug up just uh, seeing the sketch you will be able to understand okay you, first of all if you are seeing this sketch you can't understand anything you have to go to this exploded view you have, you have, that is this one is not needed for examination but for understanding purpose you have to go through this three sketches okay so you can see the ford t model is repeatedly asked the university uh, question that is uh, let me show there is a uh, each unit i have shared a uh, important question no it is asked there let me uh, show it see for unit 3 so that only i have taken i, I don't know whether uh, ford model t is in uh, in your portion or not but they have asked 